hi guys welcome back to our channel and please subscribe if you're here for the first time i want to just share a few things of how your self-esteem may or was destroyed during your childhood and just a few things that you can do to help you at least work on your self-esteem now we are always working on it's working on changing adjusting learning a few things and trying to become a better person because mm. you can't do much if you're not healed yes you can but it will always follow you when your esteem is low for so many different reasons and mostly most of the things stem from your childhood if you don't deal with them those are inside ghosts that will be following you and you really have no idea sometimes you do but you just can't really figure out why your self-esteem is low first of all constant comparison yes parents consistently compare their kids like if your siblings are like oh this one is better than you oh this one is doing more you know like you should be like the other one like that constant comparison of the kids lets them like growing up and end up having a very low self-esteem because they're like I can't do better. The other one is always, someone is always better than me. And they just don't find themselves like worthy. They're going to grow up with a lot, lots of insecurity. They're most likely doing things to get validation from others. They're doing things and looking for validation from external people, looking for other people. And they just can't believe in themselves that I'm doing this and I'm worthy and it's right they're always looking for validation from other people to just make them feel like they fit and it's all because of the low self-esteem that was built up through the childhood with the comparisons and then being afraid of sharing your dreams mostly when you're young you find that some parents or some kids or growing up you're just afraid of saying what you want to be who you want to become or your dreams your desires because you're scared like what will everyone say i know i've done this i've done this to people around me being the eldest like you just think like everything you're doing you know that everything and because they're your siblings they don't exactly know what they're doing and you know it all so you feel like i had a brother who wanted to be a musician and i'll be like you can't be a musician because i think you won't go to school like these bad things about musicians the character the it's hard life to live but that was his dream and that's what he really wanted but i just consistently kept on criticizing and criticizing and forcing it down his throat and so many times you just look back and regret and you're like, oh, I must have killed his esteem, you know, because that's something they really wanted. So constant stopping kids from expressing themselves and what they really want is going to lower their self-esteem. It's going to deter them from moving places, getting to heights, exercising their gifts because they're like, oh, someone why should i say what i'm dreaming or what i want to do someone will be like ah, what will they say what will be their reaction it may not be good enough that happens to me too like i do things and i want to do things but i'm like i'm not going to do it because i'm like what will they think what will they say like you think about everything in and outside and you end up not doing things just because of that then forcing kids to obey and conform like so many times you just force kids you don't need any reasons you just force them that i said you need to do a b c d i've done this <laughs> i've done this like you just have to do a b c d and that's right because i'm the eldest i know what's right and it has to be done so you force people to just obey and no question i'm african so that's normal you listen to your elders and what they tell you is right you just ask them to do whatever you want them to do and they should do it 
So forcing kids to obey and conform kills their esteem and it really affects them because they're like, they're just used to when someone says do this, you have to just do it. You don't need to ask questions because if you ask questions, you may most likely get into trouble. You're not supposed to ask. You can just obey. <laughs> so it truly really kills your self-esteem. Ooh, the negative self-talk all the time it leads you to feeling you're insignificant. Anything you want, you're going to speak down on yourself. You're going to... You always criticizing yourself even before others do that you're even surprised that people are really speaking positively or in good light about you. So that negative self talk really it's not good for you. It's going to destroy your self esteem and you're going to miss so many things because you won't get to greater heights. If you find someone negative or someone say anything negative about you, you're most likely going to believe it because you speak it to yourself too. So it kills your self-esteem. But that's some simple ways that I have used for myself. And I know that it really works for other people and so many other people to just make sure that you bring up your self-esteem a little bit to the be to the best of your ability to just make sure that okay this is where i want first of all is having very good support system you make sure the people that are in your corner are for you okay you make sure that the people that are in your corner are for you you make sure that those people support your dreams. They support you. They want to see you win. They want to see your esteem get up because the people around you in most cases are going to affect you, how you feel, the different things that you do. So if you just focus and make sure you're choosing the right team, the right people who are going to uplift you and make sure you're becoming the best version of yourself, it's going to help you improve your self-esteem because even when you're speaking down on yourself, someone is uplifting you and telling you, no, that's wrong. This is best for you. This is right for you, okay? So having a very good support system and making sure you need to pick the people around you in case people go to the left, since your esteem is low, you just have to cut them out. And look for people that are really looking out for the best of you. You focus more and listen to your strengths and achievements. Yes. Because you have, by default, have this negative self-talk to yourself. You try so much to focus on your achievements, on your strength, what you can do, what you're capable of, how far you can go. That is going to help you build your esteem. It's going to help you become a better version of yourself because you're like, I can do this. And it's going to be easy for you to build your esteem with, with focusing on to the negative, the positive things about your life. It's going to help you. Now, practicing positive thinking and self-talk. Yes. When you focus on the, on the things that you do, you can do well, you're strength and your achievements also make sure you practice thinking and saying positive things towards yourself speak positively about yourself don't attend don't entertain negativity around you from people about you with you just try to cut it off and focus more on to practicing positive thinking the positive things that you want to do just focus on to those Think positively, nice things about you, nice emotions, see yourself in just nice memories of where you want to just positive. Don't think about the things that you can do. Speak and say nice things about yourself. Okay? And then do things that make you feel good. Mm. Yes. Because you can't say all those things, but are things that make you feel good. Like it could be waking up and doll making yourself get dolled up, dressing nice. Whatever makes you feel good, makes you get that good self-esteem, makes you feel like you're that girl. Like 
you have everything in control it could be exercising going to the gym or working out in the house if that makes you feel good do that it could be eating well healthy do it just make sure you're getting your clean food and go for that because it makes you feel good it could be dining out to nice places if that makes you feel good do it just look for the things that make you feel good you get it could be going out for a dance if it makes you feel good just do it do the things that make you feel good and that help you build your self esteem they help you not look down on yourself i mean if you love to travel do that to just make sure that you think positive and going to doing things that just make you feel good and lighten up the moment for you to just make sure your self esteem is up <laughs> i love you very much guys it could be dressing up whatever works for you wake up dress up and sit home i love that portion of life i do it well <laughs> so i know what that is so whatever makes you feel good to bring up your esteem and cut off anything and everything that does not make you feel good okay whatever does not make you feel good cut it out cut it out and don't have it okay so otherwise thank you so very much i hope these few things help you not destroy someone someone's esteem mostly the kids people you have a say over influence for me it was my siblings and just to help people uplift because sometimes you can't control the things you've been through but you get to a point and you're like yes i may have some trauma somewhere or this may have happened so find ways to uplift yourself and i've just left a few things and make sure if there's someone with low self-esteem and you can help them uplift themselves become better feel better help them <laughs> be a support function don't be a negative person trying to make them feel bad so if you're still here i will ask you to please subscribe <laughs> turn on your notification and shalom hope you enjoy my lives i go live trying to get to know you and have fun and Shall a little bit. Okay. Shalom guys. Love you.